Can you hear us? Well, good on you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a br- How you going? brilliant oh brilliant you? accent. Now that's going in the pool room. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Have you got so people laughing great. at that in the background as well? What's that? <laughs> well, well welcome welcome to control. Uh sorry about the mess around. So, uh, like, thanks. We we'll, we'll, appreciate you having me on. <laughs> we're very glad to have you on. So how's it going so far? Ah, it's a pleasure. Yeah? Where where yeah, are you based really? at? Where are you based at the moment? I'm in Los Angeles right now. Oh wow, quite the way then. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, I'm about. Uh, I think it's July here still. I'm not 100 percent sure. <laughs> a wee bit behind. For sure. <laughs> so for so tell tell us a little bit about uh, why you might be making the trip over this way very soon. Well, I'm going. I'm taking the wife, <laughs> taking the baby. Yeah. Going all the way there. Yeah. Jumping on one of these corny flights. <laughs> no, first class, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. Plane, maybe having a VB or two. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to uh, come all the way over there to perform and do some stand-up. Yeah. So, st- so how yeah. long have you been doing the stand-up thing? Because, I mean, most people might know you. Well, I started out about 30 years ago doing it. <laughs> um, San Francisco. San Francisco. Yeah. I'm really glad you... Uh, I started under- San Francisco and then I, you know... I sort of do performing. I got on Saturday Night Live. There. Yeah. Uh, I love the way people pronounce my name in Australia. Rob Schneider. <laughs> I'm on with Rob Schneider. It's really it's fantastic as well that you're you're understanding you the difference between New Zealand and Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know which one we are? Do you remember which one we are? Of course, I remember which one you. You think I would be that? Uh, of course, you guys are New Zealand. Of this course. Is a totally different accent. Because you're pulling off you a fantastic a, Australian you accent. Guys are more, <laughs> um, it's you know Russell Crowish. Yeah, exactly. You guys are more subtle. Yeah. You guys are like the you know. Less uh, annoying. <laughs> yeah, well, you guys have the. Uh, it's like you're not redneckish, if that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, and we appreciate it very much. <laughs> yeah, you guys are. You guys. Let me use the word civilized. Yeah. So when I ever hear. Whenever I hear somebody from, like, the North Coast talking, I feel like he's got a stick in his hand or something. He's going to either kill a kangaroo or, or strangle it. <laughs> Do something else to it. Yeah. Um, so can you tell no, us... But, oh, can you what's tell that? Us, oh, sorry. I was just going to ask if you could tell us a little bit about your upcoming show. I don't want to give it away, Sarah. I know you <laughs> ran back to the studio, but can't, I didn't give those secrets away. That would be a... Spoiler alert. No, I talk about being in my 40s. I don't know if you guys can relate to it. You guys, you young college kids with dreams. <laughs> um, you know, I talk about being, you know, in your, between your 20s and 40s and what that's like. And, you know, hopefully people can relate to it. Uh, you know, when you're 20s, you know, you go to the refrigerator, you know, and say, do you like, you go to bed, you know. And <laughs> in, your 40s, in your 40s, you go to bed, you know, and say anything you like. You go to the refrigerator, you know? <laughs> so, you know, you know, I think this is expired. It, this doesn't smell very good. So basically, you know? refrigerator and, and beard is, is the most of the topics you're going to cover. I do that for about an hour and ten minutes, and then I talk about other stuff. <laughs> but I, I mix it up, though. I talk a little bit about Obama. You yeah. Know? Yeah, yeah sure, been, why not? Have you ever been to New Zealand before? What's that? Have you ever been here to New Zealand before? I've never been. It's my first time. Oh, exciting. Hey, it's my first time. I've been to Brisbane. <laughs> I've been up to the Gold Coast. I've been up to the Gold Coast before. Yeah, it sounds like uh, you got the Australian I, down. Uh, yeah, I've been up there. I've never been to New Zealand. My wife's very excited to go. I know, like, Shania Twain owns, like, half the island or something. Is yeah, yeah. Well, you got you got to stop that. <laughs> you can't allow American people to just go there and buy pieces of your... Your country. That's not okay. No. You just say no to this U.S. money. It's just, it's not okay. <laughs> it's hard to say no. You say no to nuclear weapons, nuclear, you know, you got to do the same thing. Yeah. You guys got to be consistent. No to American money. Like, like if I come down there and I bring some of my American money and, and, and I might just do that, <laughs> and I want to buy like a big chunk of land, you say, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> got it. So we say no in an Australian accent. Sounds good. <laughs> I know, not this time. <laughs> not going for it. Not going to do it. Uh, no way. 
uh, not good on you. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know. I'm looking forward to going there and then uh, being able to figure out how to do a New Zealand accent. Yeah, yeah. That, I'm pretty good with the other one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, so, after you do a tour here, um, what else is in the works for you in the future? I take all the money that I make and I just I put it in a big pile and just stare at it for a while. <laughs> and then I look and I think, oh my goodness, look at all that. Look at all, those, look at all that money. And now, now I, I'm thinking about doing a TV series. I'm doing a TV series. not thinking about it. At least you know, with my wife, my real life wife, we're going to yeah. do a TV series. It's not like a, uh, you know, one of those horrible, um, you know, reality shows. This is going to be a, a little sitcom. Is it a... With my real wife. Oh, Awesome. I'm paying for it myself with the money that I, I, I take from your country. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not going to spend any of that American money over here then. You need it. No, I'll t- I'll pr- I might bring a credit card. No, we're going to buy stuff. You know, you yeah. guys make a lot of you know sheep products and stuff like that. We do, yeah. So, yep. More sheep Yeah, so I might like, you know, I might kill a sheep with my bare hands and like, you know, shear it myself and then make a, a bug out of it. Go I'm for it. one of those little hats for my baby. Yeah. <laughs> We got possum yeah, there over here those, as well. You have those because maybe we'll open up a shop like that, Sarah. You and me, kill your own sheep, shear your own sheep shop. <laughs> Sound good? Why not? Sounds good. Sounds very good. Instead of Hooters, she- shear your own sheep shop. Yeah. <laughs> you could actually have Hooters in the shop. It can be part of Hooters. We don't have Hooters here, so we're missing out. You need to get Hooters. <laughs> you guys, what kind of? I mean, you guys got to get with it. I know. Uh, my wife is going to open up a. Uh, uh, a, a kind of a, a Hooters for women, except it's, uh, you know, uh, fig and berries, or I don't know what she calls it, twig and berries. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's for women, so women can go in and oogle over guys. Yeah. Awesome. I swear, I'm serious. That's what she's planning on wasting more of my money on. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a waste, though, surely. I don't know. I mean, I don't, it's just gross to me. Well, Magic Mike is uh, such well, a success, so... Yeah. With magic, yeah, exactly. She saw that, and then that was it for me. <laughs> I feel that crap. You're gonna have Channing Tatum as the uh, cutting the ribbon. Sure, well, that'll be great. <laughs> Take I, it. I got it. I got his number. If you need it, we can give him a call. But I, no, I'd sleep with him. You're not completely gay. You sleep with him. He's in good shape. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, 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 for sure. You're not 100 percent gay. You sleep with Channing Tatum. Yeah. <laughs> So we ask kind of, um, it's an interesting tradition we have here at Radio Control, um, asking our guests, if you were a fruit, what kind of fruit would you be? Okay, I'm just learning how to do your accent. Asking our guests, what kind of fruit would you be? Yep, you're getting uh, closer. Yes, I like the guests, I like that. We say guests like, uh, you know, a bunch of morons over here. I like guests. Ask our guests, what kind of fruit would I be? Uh, a pineapple, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because if somebody wanted to eat me, it would be a total, they'd have to really work hard at it. <laughs> Good reason. They'd have to really want to eat me. They'd have to like spend a half hour just cutting out the, you know, the, the, the yeah. bites, the parts that bite back. It's, it's, it's a wonder, that must be why pineapples taste all right, because uh, for so long people have tried so hard to get to get into them, it's got to be worth it. Exactly. Whoever saw that and said, you know what, I'm going to spend the next hour and a half trying to figure out if there's something in there to eat, you know? <laughs> exactly. That first the person. First person ate, it's like the first person that ate a crab. Yeah. You know, it's like, well, I don't know what that is. It's like the thing, it just, you know, squeezed my finger yeah. off. Maybe it was but, payback uh, for put, that. Yeah, I'm going to put that in the pot and see, what, see what's in there. <laughs> but somebody had to do that. I guarantee you these were all Chinese people. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. The Chinese, they figure, you know, anything that flies and crawls and swims, they eat it. Mm. Yeah. They try. I think there was an issue with missing cats recently. People were a bit worried that people were taking cats to cook them from neighborhoods. I don't know, but i tell you what. In San Francisco, um, they were people trapping ducks in the park, and it was Vietnamese people. And the Vietnamese people, because that's what they do at home. I mean, I wasn't angry at them. Mm. It's like, you know, say, hey, this is what they do. Why wouldn't they want to keep doing it? Yeah. I mean, they're there. It's nature, right? No, it's the park. Mm-hmm. These belong to everybody. <laughs> you know, but um, you just had to explain to them. And that was a good thing because they could say, hey, listen, this, this is, you don't do that. You know, you got to just, you want ducks, you got to raise them, put them in your backyard. <laughs> no, not the, out here in the park. No trapping. No, no trapping people. allowed. God bless them. Yeah. Awesome. That's why, you know, you, you never see homeless Asian people. 
because they're always going to, you know, they work hard, you know. It's like, no, we figure something else out. Yeah. We'll work on a part of the body nobody wants to go